Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakah Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten Son. And there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, who have taught us his truth and honest citations to the elect. So this is a news article that uh, the brother Kahan, my camp, just GMS watch and pray, you know, no spaces. Uh, news article that he's uh, sent to the chat, so I'm just sitting here reading it. It says, uh, and you know, well, the spirit hit me to uh, make it into a lesson. So it says the earth only has a three month supply of food. If production stops, humanity has nothing to eat in 90 days. And let me jump to the point where I said, damn, I'm gonna do a lesson on this. Because, you know, it's... And then we, we... The thing is, man, you got people that say, oh, man, they've been talking about this for a while now. You know? And pretty much is it's not gonna happen in my generation, head ass ninjas. You know? It ain't gonna happen. Bro, it's going down, man. You know? We believe this will happen because the scriptures speak upon it. Okay? First and foremost, Jacob's trouble. It's gonna be a time of trouble that the earth has never seen before since there was a nation. <clears throat> There's going to be a time of trouble That's going to be It's going to be so crazy on the planet earth That Michael the Ar the Archangel Is going to have to uh, 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 Get involved Along with Yahweh Shai Okay So part of that Craziness That's coming You think people are going to be going to the All you can eat buffet Here it is. It's a time of trouble that the earth has never seen before. <coughs> right? And, and, and the arch archangel. Let me get that scripture matter of fact, man. Before I get into this article, man. Then I read some, some of that article, which is the real deal. Prophecies playing out in front of us. Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. Even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. <coughs> Everyone that is found written in the book. So this has never happened yet. Alright. <coughs> the angel Michael. Has never stood up. Okay, to help deliver the uh, uh, the children of Israel. Okay, from uh, uh, the Babylonian captivity all the way up until now, this has never happened before, man. Okay, so it's safe to say we have not come to that time of trouble yet. <clears throat> which the trouble is going to be uh, the most insane that the earth has ever seen. We haven't gotten to that point yet. So I say all that to say, when we do get to that point, you think it, you think people are going to be at all you can eat buffets? You think people are going to be throwing? You think people going to have turkey day on Thanksgiving? And everybody got leftovers. If it's if it's a time of such craziness on earth. That the earth has never seen before. Of course not man. It's going to be every horror movie. Every horror slash thriller movie. Wrapped in one. You know. The movie our brothers always uh, mention. Um, the road. You know. It's going to be. Uh, 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 the road mixed with purge mixed with uh, wrong turn 
You know? Every horror movie you could ever imagine. Mixed into one. So of course there's not going to be no food. During this time. And there's many other scriptures that speak upon. You know the famine. <clears throat> right? So it says. This is the point I really wanted to grab. It says. Let's start here. The whole planet Earth operates a 90 day food supply. That means that once we stop making food, humans run out of food in 90 days. It is and they're going to run out a lot quicker than that. With the panic buying and the greed of these Americans, how greedy they are, <clears throat> how greedy and selfish they are. Man, that food going to run out when it comes to the stores that they're going to clear them stores out in one day, bro. In two hours. You talking about 90 days. There's not going to be a, a food supply. Once that once they start working. And you count that 90 days. There ain't going to be no food supply. Period. But they're going to clean out them stores. Way before that. <coughs> right. So lock it. So it says. It is estimated. That approximately 7.9 billion people currently live on the planet. And feeding everyone is a real challenge even if everything goes perfectly. Unfortunately, global conditions have been much less than perfect for the past couple of years. And Freidberg says that the new global energy crisis. The new global energy crisis has pushed the cost of key fertilizer components to levels that are absolutely insane. Wow. It says the price of nitrogen has gone from $200 to 1000 The price in potassium has gone from 200 to 700 And the price of phosphorus has gone from 250 to 700 Wow. By the hundreds, man. <clears throat> so it says, so now... It is so expensive to grow a crop that a lot of farmers around the world are pulling acres out of production. <coughs> so lucky, man. God, it's cough, man. So what? They're downsizing. All right. If they had 30 acres of straight corn, now they're going to downsize to like 15 acres. So what does that mean? If they're bringing out truck loads of corn well you're gonna cut the, the truck load production in half so to speak so now if less less crops is coming out now they gotta charge more okay it's like su uh, supply and demand <clears throat> but they're not going to have as much as supply, right? So the demand is going to uh, uh, rise even more. So that's going to make the supply rise. I mean, so like the supply, that's going to make the, uh, the price rise even more. So it says, so they're going to grow less this year than they would have otherwise because it is so expensive and they cannot, access fertilizer he explained food supplies are going to go down and it is going to be catastrophic <coughs> okay so here it is the price of fertilizer even went up nitrogen potassium and phosphorus so it continues to read many farmers all over the world will try to grow food without fertilizer this year but that will result in a whole lot less food being grown. So they're going to downsize the amount of acres that they that they occupy, that they work with. And that's going to cut a, cut a loss. <coughs> but then without using fertilizer, that's going to cut even more of a loss. In one of his latest videos, Chris Martinson compared rice plants that were grown with phosphorus to rice plants that were not given any phosphorus. I was absolutely blown away by the difference. 
As global food production drops precipitously, there simply will not be enough food for everyone in the months ahead. Of course, the wealthy nations will buy up what is available, driving up prices in the process, and the poor nations will be left out in the cold. In fact, this is already starting to happen. In March, the global price of food rose at the fastest monthly pace ever recorded. <coughs> so how you like that, man? For people that say, oh, man, this is just a... This is just another hump we'll overcome and things will get back to normal. Man, we're breaking records for the worst out here. Okay, and, and hey, this is not a surprise to us. It's not shocking to us because the Lord already told us this was going to come. You know? Now, a lot of things <coughs> apply to the year 70 A.D., which is when the Roman uh, persecution arose against Jerusalem. And there was famine, you know. But that was just a precursor of what's to come now. Right? But going back to... So, the, so guess what? The things that Yahweh Shai was saying... For a four time, we can apply it to this time because it's going to happen all over again, except worse. So when Yahweh Shai said, <coughs> Shalaki, man. So it says, uh, that's why I can't wait to get out of here, man. Get, get some new bodies, you know, in the twinkle of an eye. <coughs> so when Yahweh Shai said, Matthew 6. In verse uh, 25, therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, where ye shall eat, or where ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, where ye shall put on, is not the life more than meat, and the body more than raiment? Okay. And then the scriptures also said, even in these evils, be as pilgrims upon the earth. So while we're being pilgrims uh, upon the earth, this is the mindset that's going to be within us, man. Don't even really worry about what we're going to be, what we going to be eating and what we're going to be drinking in that day. Why? Because Yahweh Shai got it covered for us. So it literally phases me zero percent. I'm literally not phased at all. You know, reading this art, I'm not worried at all. Reading this article, man, not at all, yo. Literally. Because, hey, we got faith that you know, that the Lord is going to take care of us, man. You know, that's the perfect, you know, the Lord chose the perfect name. When Moses said, oh, what, what is your name that I could tell the children of Israel when they asked? He said, tell them, <coughs> I am. You know? Which interprets to Yahweh, meaning he is, meaning he exists. He exists, man. Okay? <laughs> he exists, yo. And that, that name is perfect for this time to have faith. Because even though the scriptures say he's a... Uh, um, yeah, even though... Well, let me just get it real quick. <coughs> Let me see real quick. Um, is a guy that uh, hides himself. Uh, Deuteronomy 31 and 18. And I will surely hide my face in that day for all the evils which they shall have wrought and that they are turned unto other gods. You know, it's another scripture as well. I believe it says he's a power that hides himself, but you know, that should do the... That should do the uh, uh, trick, man. <sighs> but so yeah, so like it. 
you know, so the scripture speaks on how, you know, the Lord uh, hides himself. So we may not, and, and even Yahweh Shai said that about uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the apostle um, Thomas. He said, Thomas, because thou hast seen, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet believed. So we don't physically see the Lord. You know, we don't physically see these things, man. But yet we know he exists. He exists just as as much as anything we see. <laughs> and really, it's just a test, man. OK. And we know that he got us, man. OK. Through, through Yahweh Shai. So it is what it is, man, when it comes to the men of the Lord. It says, uh, <clears throat> let's jump, let's jump. All right, so we understand that the global price of food rose at the fastest monthly rate ever recorded. So, man, the temptation that shall come upon the whole world. There's nowhere you could go. This thing is happening globally. It says if you are looking for red flags, you just found one. Food riots have already begun in some parts of the globe. For example, you can see a clip from the rioting in Peru right here. Damn, see that? In the months ahead, it is only going to get worse. Thanks to the war in Ukraine, the price of wheat was up almost 20% last month alone. You know, let's <clears throat> jump around. It says here in the United States, the bird flu pandemic continues to escalate. And as a result, the price of eggs has more than doubled in recent weeks. Right. I heard about that already. <laughs> so, hey, you know. Yeah, the turn up. All right. I do like to read the art, the whole articles, but I don't want to make this lesson long, longer. But hey, man, it's going down. You know, the scripture's been speaking upon it. You know, the men of the Lord been speaking upon it through the Spirit Empire, How about Shemal Shai? And now you having like uh, uh, these people that. Uh, bring out these news articles now they're speaking about it without the scriptures you know so like i said the men of the lord been talking about it but now you got oh here the periphery now you got news editors bringing it out okay so very soon the lord is going to pull his men out the streets from teaching you people, man. Why? Because, hey, the job of a prophet is to say before. Say something that's going to happen before it happens. Once it starts happening, the job of the prophet is done. Ain't no need to go out there no more. <laughs> that defeats the point of, of being a prophet. So now you got news articles coming out about it. Regular Joe Schmo, you even got the president of the United States, Joe Biden. Even he's talking about uh, 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 um, food prices is about to go up. And I believe he said it's going to be scary or something like that. Something along those lines. So once this thing goes down, that's it. Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. So see, so we every time we go out there, we telling you of the vision, the vision of uh, uh, Jacob's trouble, the vision of the Lord's return, the vision of the kingdom of heaven, the vision of our enemies getting shackled up, man. Okay, but it's for an, an appointed time. What are you doing before that appointed time? Are you getting ready, or are you bullshitting, man? And these two thirds are bullshitting. You're supposed to take, before that appointed time comes, we're supposed to be getting rooted in this truth. 
rooted and built up and established in him, man. So that when a storm comes and beat upon that house, it could not shake it. That's what we're supposed to be doing before that appointed time. It says, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. So yeah, everything that we were saying is finally going to speak and it's going to be found that no, we were not liars, but we were what? We were prophets. And that's Ezekiel 33, 33. You know, and it shall come to pass that then they shall know that a prophet hath been among them. Because everything we've been saying through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashmashai, now you're living it out. And they're going to figure, well, <laughs> is this going to be like a video game, man? It's going to be like a movie. They're going to be in their mind panicking. Uh, 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 trying to figure things out. Trying to figure out how can I, you know, be safe? How can I, uh, you know... Being the Lord's good graces, man. Like, what can I do to just live and survive? Well, maybe those those guys that said this was going to come and now is here. We wasn't listening to them. We was bullshitting. Now we see why they was out here. Well, if they knew that this was coming, maybe they know how we could survive. Then that's when the famine of the word is going to be fulfilled. I mean, uh, 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 when, when, yeah, when they shout go from sea to sea to seek the word of the Lord, but shall not find it. It says, though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. You know? So, hey, man, it is what it is to them in the Lord. I don't give a fuck, man. I don't give a crap, man. How about Shema Shai? I have faith that the Lord going to take care of me. I'm not like these wicked, wicked two thirds out here. You know, or even. And that goes for all of us, man. The whole full elect, you know, the, the sincere men in GMS doing these works. We're not like I should have said we we not like these these wicked dudes out here. You know, that got caught up in Esau's net and this bullshit. A fantasy world, man. In this wicked fantasy world. We're not caught up in this. So when this thing goes down. Lord willing, hey, the Lord said. Man, <clears throat> two bangers, man. Two banging scriptures right here, bro. These are mainstream amongst the prophet. Amongst the prophet scriptures, man. Mainstream scriptures. Hebrews 6 and 10. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. See? The Most High is not unrighteous to forget our works and labors of love. And this is 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, Always abounding in the work of the Lord for as much as ye know that your labor, for as much as ye know. I know, man. We know. We know that our labor is not in vain in the Lord. So we're not doing this for no reason. I mean, we're not doing this with a. Uh, 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 um, without the reward, okay? But at the same time, that's where the humbleness comes in. Because you could take that and, and think that the Lord, you know, now the Lord owes you something more. Or, you know, you know, because at the same time, the scriptures say, even after you do all the works, you still call yourself an unprofitable servant. So as long as we can maintain that mindset, then our labor won't be in vain. You know? So, hey, Lord willing, this was edifying. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom, man. Hey, it is what it is. Bring that, bring, hey. Hey, let's get it, man. With that, Shalom.